All right, folks, welcome back to the Twin Cities metro area. I have to make a quick stop at Thorn Brothers before we start filming. We're excited to be back. I need some more jigs, believe it or not. So Waldo has been catching fish on this new swirl drop color, and I don't have any of them. We're gonna change that quick. Snag a couple for me and the boys. Waldo's been doing good on them, like I said. And then we're also gonna get, so these swirl drops are brand new. And blue is a super hard color to find anywhere. And they have it. So we're gonna grab a couple of these, check them out. All right, so those were drop kicks. So now I'm gonna move over to the actual regular swirl drop. So this has got a gem on the front of it. You can see that, kinda hard to see, maybe. A little bit nope okay so we're gonna grab some of these and i want some six mils because we got some stuff we're messing with that you don't need to worry about yet and then this is a really unique color i like that that red you ever seen anything like that i haven't and i got a bait that's gonna pair with that really good that you guys can't see yet but that's the fun of this. All right, and then last but not least, snowdrops. Snowdrops are often forgot about, but they're very good. And once again, we have a couple baits we're messing around with. But I need some of these specific colors for. All right, got a few. All right, so I picked up some drop kicks, some swirl drops, and some snowdrops. I need big, big jigs for big baits. We're looking for big fish, and we got some baits we're messing with, so. That's one of the big reasons I'm here. I also need to find a few other things. But if you are looking, our rods are here. They're tucked over. We got Griff's, Waldo's, mine, Pink's. And they've actually been selling really fast. Uh, they had to build a bunch more, so they're not out of stock anymore. They got some back. Now we make ourselves to the plastics and believe it or not, uh, the motor oil Mackie Mackie is sold out across the country. So we're gonna go to this Mackie Minnow head. Kinda looks similar, I'm gonna give that a shot. Cause I also ran out of them. I'm sure you've seen everywhere, and like I'm mentioning now, big ticket items. If you're looking for big ticket I items, like a Vexlar, a fish house, anything like that, this is the year to buy it. Right now the sales are ridiculous. Flashers are over $100 off I'm seeing. Houses are really cheap. This is the year where you are not gonna be able to fish in a permanent ice house. It's really not gonna happen much, but you can still go fishing. Get a fish trap, it's a good investment for the year. You can keep it for a while and you'll still be able to get out fishing. Cause like this, this hub shelter on sale, all houses right now. Across the industry, any retailer you look at, house prices as well as Vexlar prices, any electronics, big ticket items, they are on sale. So go grab them now. Now's a great time to do it. and. The weather's pretty mild. It's gonna be a great ice fishing winter. You're gonna enjoy it, so definitely go grab one. If you want any of our pinheads, they are selling out fast. I believe the reverse Wonder Bread in 116th is already all gone. There's limited numbers of the Flash Minnow left in 116th, 132nd, and 18th. Um, also, great options, but they're almost sold out. So if you want them, you need to come get them. All right, like I said, ice season's here. We're ready to get after in the Metro. One thing on our mind, and that is the big old 1-8. So, time to go giant hunting. We've been looking forward to it all year. If you need any stuff, come to Thorn Brothers. They got a bunch of stuff in stock right now. You can get a great deal on a house, Vexlar, whatever you want. But now, time to get to the lake. And now we come back to where it all began, the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Located within 60 miles of downtown Minneapolis is the fabled crappie capital that most can only dream of. Lakes and rivers sprawling with habitat, seemingly a genetic anomaly. It produces the largest top end crappies you can find anywhere in the ice belt. And these fish are largely only targetable when its waters are delicately sealed under a firm cap of ice. Teeming with the pressure of ice communities, 
established across the lakes in the challenge of cracking the code on crappies hell-bent on moving from shallow to deep and everywhere in between. We once again find our crew coming home. scout mission today it's uh it's friday so took the day off from work and go out and do some scouting um, at a new lake that uh we have never filmed at so we're gonna go out there see what size fish are out here um i've heard of big ones caught out here i've seen some big ones while i've been uh bass fishing out here i had some follow my jig in one time that were sizable crappies 14 15 inches um, so yeah so I thought I'd come out here and uh, see what I could do go check it out see if it's got the 18s we're looking for all right here we go just walking out one of my buddies is already out here gonna walk out to him kind of get a game plan of where we're gonna where we're gonna scout how we're gonna attack it um, I'll kind of keep you guys informed as I do it. Um, show you what we find. And hopefully it's promising. So you might want to tighten the drag. Nice crappie. There you go, carp. Relevant, no bait. What'd you get it on? The relevant school. Nice. Put it up to the GoPro here so you can see it. Sweet. Let's let her get, get her back. It's kind of cold out here. Plus we're keeping her. That's what he caught it on. You don't need bait. Just kind of showing that. All right. So a little update here is the. Uh, Found some fish. They're kind of hanging on this little edge of this rock pile here. Um, we just kind of came over here to get on, try to find this transition edge, and uh, they're actually sitting right on the rocks, which is unusual. But they do it every once in a while. You know, they don't always just sit on soft bottom. Here we go. I got a mark coming up. Another one flying in. Ooh, you're a nice fish. Oh, oh, Larry, Larry, Larry. Huh. Not a bad start, though. It's a fish. Hook sets are always fun, but got it on the rattling PT spoon. No bait. The desired species. Cool. Well, we're just putting together a little pattern here. Um, seems to be working. So we tried some softer bottom stuff. Seen some fish there, but they were super skittish because they weren't really on anything. They were just kind of like hanging out and just really on nothing. They were just kind of sitting out there. So I think that that was one reason we couldn't really get on them. But these things are fired up. Yeah, flying in now. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I know, I'm just kidding. Thirteen and a quarter. Now, could you do me a favor? Get some water in that bucket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter this one in the Stone Cold Classic, but I'm keeping her in the water here, you can see. 
got her in there. Submerged, totally submerged. But Dave's getting me some water here in a bucket. Pop her in here real quick so she doesn't freeze. All right, so I'm gonna enter this fish into the Fish Donkey app. So I'm enter a fish. Picture of the fish on oh, board. She goes. Thirteen and a quarter. Get. I need a picture of myself holding it. No. And then I gotta do a video. Bye. And off she goes. All right, so we're gonna go warm up a little bit. Kind of hard to chase these fish with your gloves are rock solid. Your legs are rock solid, so cold we're gonna run in do about 20 minutes warm up come back out hit another rock pile see what we can find when this series was first started uh, the whole premise of it was catching the biggest crappies ever documented on film all within 60 miles of downtown Minneapolis look when we started this it was really just about chasing big ones and not just big ones but the biggest ones ever documented on film we were super gung-ho we wanted to fish all the lakes around here that have giants that we've been fishing our whole lives and have caught these fish in the past chasing that mythical beast around in the metro that 18 inch crappie we didn't realize trying to get them on film was gonna be so difficult. And kind of as a group, you know, we've done a lot of things to attempt to do that. And, uh, you know, even like last year, we did travel a bit and we got a little bit away from what we felt like our roots were as far as chasing big ones here in the Metro. And throughout that process, you know, we get on a bunch of different, you know, we call them meat runs where we're getting food to cook and making sure we're getting content. And, Eventually, at some point in time, you know, we kind of hit it this year with, with the struggling ice conditions. We look at each other and we're like, what are we doing? You know, that's not, that's not what this series is. This series is about documenting really, really big crappies all within 60 miles of Minneapolis. So, uh, I mean, we all just wanted to come back and actually get this thing done. So as much as it's fun to go around and chase fish in different parts of the ice belt and uh, have some fun and do these cool trips, with that said, kind of for the last stretch here, the reason we've been quiet is that's what we're doing. You're, you're not gonna see a video come to you the rest of this season without freaks. And that's our full intention is giving every ounce of energy we have to documenting those fish for all of you to see because that is our true passion. We've got a window here. We're canceling all of our trips. We were gonna go out west. We were gonna showcase different types of crappie fishing for you guys, but with these warm temps, we really saw that our window to fish the Metro was very small this year. But this weather, I mean, this, this year is just one of those, I mean, I've never seen in my life how we've had two first sights, possibly a third. We got two or three weeks to do this. That's all we got. And it's a very limited window. However, we feel like we can get it done. We kind of had to cancel those plans and come here and say we're all in on this and really, really put all effort into finding them, scouting them, trying to catch them, just going all over the place so that we can chase an ice. I mean, it's more like we're chasing ice and an 18 incher this year, so. And it feels like now our back's up against a wall and we got a ticking clock as far as how much time we actually can be on the ice down here in the Metro. So it's, uh, it's wide open and we're going for it right now. Welcome back to another episode of the Crappie Chronicles. So we're missing a few guys today. It's just Grip, Logan and I. So we're gonna be bouncing around this little lake over here. We've got the mega live down and Griff was out here scouting what was it yesterday yeah yesterday yesterday and we've I mean he found some fr pretty pretty freaking good fish and we know there's big ones in here so only thing is it is really freaking cold and it's what negative eight something like that chilly it's kind of like the last cold day before we have a week-long stretch of amazing weather it's going to be mid-30s this next week the barometer is going to be low and stable, which we haven't had that in a pretty long time. So it's going to be a really good fish catching week. Oh, there's a big one suspended. But we're on the edge of a rock pile right now. There's uh, 
a pretty nice little weed line here too and it's not super tall weeds but it's just enough that it gives them an edge to relate to so we're gonna start bouncing around here and try to hole hop as long as we can and then we might set up one of the one of the houses we've got the x200 and the x100 with so we might set up one of them and get the heat rolling in there as a little bit of a warming shack because it's going to be pretty freaking cold for a while today. I think you're only supposed to get up to like 8 degrees or so. But yeah, we're going to keep moving around here and working this little bit of an edge slash inside turn and try to see if we can get a giant. But it looks like Griff's already found some on the live if you want to take a peek down here. Small group of big ones right there. Mm -hmm. One high flyer. You can see him every once in a while. He keeps turning, so there he is right there. And we've got little bluegills right here yeah. off the edge. And it seems like what those are pretty much on top of the edge. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a big inside turn here. The rock pile is right over here. Yeah, there's some big ones floating up over the top too. Where'd that so guy go? I'll find him again. Right there. There he is. Yeah, that's, that's a unit. That's a unit. I like that pink few teaspoon. Because every spot I found them out here, they're in like the same thing where they're with the big ones or by the small ones. <laughs> hey, you got your little Dang bean. it! <laughs> oh yeah. Copy. Got it. That one, very aggressive. Came like seven feet off the bottom to eat it. Charging up. It's not a big one, but there's a bunch down there. Get back down. That was a big one. Oh, we got another big one. No, this isn't a big one. It's a little bit heavier. That's a one. Not what I lost, but. Him. Ooh, that's a little bigger. What is this? Good eater. I don't know, it passed the hole and it looked a lot bigger than anything else I got. Ooh, decent crappie. Sweet. Now we're talking. A little more of an eater size. Cool. I'll probably keep a few today, so I'll throw that one on the ice, but sweet fish. Probably about a you know, 10 incher. That's bigger. There's a nice white. Beautiful little white crappie right there. It's probably a, what, 11 and a half, 12 inches. It's super long actually, so it might be a little bit longer than 12. But I'm gonna get him back down. It's really cold out. That one came on the 132nd ounce reverse Wonder Bread actually. It's kind of hard to see against my glove, but just the little pinhead. It seemed like these fish were kind of bluff charging me quite a bit with that 116 pounds tika so i ended up deciding to downsize a little bit but yet still fish aggressively so i went to the 132nd ounce pinhead and i'm still keeping it pretty high above them and pounding it pretty good on the spot and that one flew right in and just trucked it Woo! i just missed another nice one but right now we're in like 14 13 foot of water um, I'm using 225 kilohertz setting on my FLX 30. 
it's kind of more of a precise cone angle just because we are fishing next to some structure and we're on top of fairly good sized schools of fish so i'm wanting to get a little bit better separation between the actual fish targets <laughs> I don't think it's very big, it's oh, just a nice white. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice one. I right, just got this really nice white here, probably about a 12 incher. Um, super pretty fish out here. Not super barred up, but uh, very nice fish. I'm going to let her go, it's kind of cold out here, but yeah, probably about a 12 incher, I'd say. But we'll get her back. Um, we're starting to get it dialed in here now. Um, we figured out they want uh, spoons. Really doesn't matter what color. Um, just smaller spoons. I'm using a rattling PT. Waldo and Pink are both using a... Uh, um, help me out here. Pinhead, thank you. And uh, we're all using different colors, so it really doesn't matter the color. I think it's more of the profile that we're throwing down there. None of us are using bait, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're starting to get it dialed in, and hopefully we hook into one of these giants that are supposedly in this lake. They winter in the back, then it never freezes. So they're sitting there, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that one. That'll eat. Kind of been switching between the pinhead and the Mackie, depending. This one's got a big bite mark on him, something that'll hold of him. Get that out. But, He's coming on with me. Sweet eaters. That was a, uh, whoa. On the flash minnow, 16th ounce. Not the super small one, but so far they've liked it. I think Waldron's using the little bit littler one. Yeah. Okay, finally got one in the house. So we just crushed some food and uh, I just started jigging, set up the second shack. This one, uh, there's a small school here. I've been plucking through them a lot of like seven inches. Finally got one that was actually got some weight to it. So a little bit more exciting, but I think the closer we get to sundown here, the better the bite's gonna get for the little bit bigger size ones. We're definitely still seeing them. That's been kind of like the thing all day is we are seeing these fish, whether it's on live or on the vexes and stuff, but get this one back. Hopefully we get one that's quite a bit bigger than this one tonight yet, so we'll see. But there's some that I would love to show you that I guarantee are over 14, swimming around below this ice right now. So we get that one back. Well, I think we're gonna pack it up right now. They've, uh, they've pretty much shut off. There's still some pods swimming around, but nothing like what it was. And it, with how high the pressure is, it's just been really tough. We haven't gotten a single one of the big ones to eat. We've gotten a few decent fish, but everything's been taking a lot of coaxing. So we're pretty much calling it. Uh, and it's been getting slower as the light level's been getting lower. So we're gonna bounce and we've got another full send tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm very excited tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have gradually falling pressure and it's gonna go down. Game on. So this year with our limited time that we have, we do not have a very large window to capitalize on these fish and on these bite windows. So we've had to film this a little differently this year. Um, kind of a cool way, but like, Bart basically gave us all GoPros, said, you're now a cameraman, go out, scout, catch them, get the big one, document it as best you can, call Bart. He'll be on his way. We kind of discussed it and we decided to change everything. So uh, we split, we're, we're splitting up. I mean, you're probably gonna see some of that or maybe you already have, but realistically, we're kind of holding our cards pretty close to our chest on this one. We've 
all got our own GoPros now and we're doing scouting missions and we're recording it. Uh, we're trying new bodies of water, we're trying old bodies of water that were good in the past and we're really trying to get the best bite absolutely dialed in and the best way to do that is for all of us to split up. Because in this game it's all about strategy and it's hard to, to put into words like the, the panic mode of running out of time. And that's what it feels like we're doing right now, even though we're in the middle of ice season, it just feels like it's slipping away and we have too many options that are too good to not be in you know multiple places at one time. It'll kind of be a documentary basically of how to target the biggest crappies that live in the Twin Cities metro area. All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, I think it's Sunday, January 21st. It might be the 20th, I'm not sure, but you can probably hear it, it's windy. What do we got going on today? Something a little bit special. So as you guys know, we've been all around the state so far this year. We've been waiting to come back to the Metro, now we're finally here. We told all you we're done looking for meat runs, we're done doing that thing. We're chasing one goal. It's the biggest crappie ever caught on film, over 18 incher, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. But the problem is, is we just got ice like a week ago in the Metro, and we have no idea where the good bites are. Today, pressure finally dropping. Bite windows are opening right now across the state. Big ones are gonna be eaten, so today, divide and conquer. We got Waldo and me heading to some lakes. We got our Polarises, we're gonna go rip around and try to tear up a few lakes today, see what's going on. We got Pink and Griff heading to the backwaters with Logan, so we got people all over our 60 miles in the metro right now, and we're gonna go figure out where these big ones are biting, so stay tuned, let's have some fun. Where are we at right now? One of my favorite lakes. It's also one of my favorite lakes that hates me. And it's just a Barton Waldo mission. We have one, had one of these for a long time. Hope this Masago catches a, a giant. All right, folks. So, Logan is off with Waldo, or er, Pink and Griff. Me and Waldo are doing our own thing and we're scouting. So we just drove the machines out. We're not ready to just drive the machines everywhere. Mainly because the name of game on this lake is the fish are really skittish. So we need to see how they're acting today before we start driving all over hell. But you're gonna be with us scouting because we don't know where the bites are going on right now. I don't see much for life out there, but I keep seeing like this. That looks a lot better. Yeah, that's them. Um... It's like okay. a lot. Drill one like 50 foot that way. Drill a few full 20 foot. Yeah. And the bump, and the bump. So, I just stuck this stud right here, super thick one. 13 and a half. Let me come back down, it's ready to go. It is pretty cold, it's only like 15 degrees, but the wind is absolutely gassing, and we just found the school of big ones, and we just got denied a bunch, and they're a little finicky, and it's probably because the pressure just started to drop, but I got a good feeling it's gonna get better throughout the day. But I got that one on a 116 ounce flash minnow pinhead pro. There's only a handful left available at Dawn Brothers, so make sure you <laughs> definitely get your ordering because they work really, really well. So we're gonna warm up our hands because it's go it's blasting wind out here right now, but 
we just got onto them and I got a feeling it's gonna this, be a This day. is the school. Yeah, it's the school of big ones. So we're gonna keep at it. Come on, warm up, transducer, warm up. There we go. Oh my God, Bart. I've been telling you. I had one staring at me that's huge. They don't want pink at all. Not even a little bit. Oh my God, I found another school. I can see three schools. There's one way out there, there's one way out there, and then there's one in between you and I right now. Oh, you you weren't that big, that's okay. They did not give one flying f Not one. No care. Zero care in the world. Got him. Oh my god, I got one freight training in too. Doubled up. This is so big! Yes! Oh, how did I get this little guy? Wanna see a 14? Cause that's one of them. Beautiful. We have to call them. They, they're never small like this. Ever. Okay, I just popped this one. We're gonna get a quick measurement, like Waldo said. It's windy. That is 13 and three quarter all day. All day, look at how tall this thing is. Okay, we're gonna get this back. Okay, so uh, like Waldo said, we just got out here. We're, we found the school, like, and there's multiple of them around. They're grouped up, they don't care about us. It's the perfect day and it could happen right now. Like yep. this whole four years could happen right now. So we're gonna get after it. This is one of the best bite windows I've ever seen on this lake. And we just need to keep up to them now. All right, so we are, uh, we're exploring some backwaters this morning. The boys split up with us. They're going to some other lakes. Um, we're not that close together either. <laughs> so me and Griff are out here. He just went back to get the spud because where we're going has tons of springs. So we're treating it just like early ice all over again. Um, but we're gonna hike. We got a good hike through the woods to where we're trying to get to. And fingers crossed, we didn't check this yet. So really hoping that there's ice on this thing right now. But it's been so cold, I think we have a really good chance of getting on. So we have like a list of backwater stuff that we wanna hit this morning and it's maybe in the afternoon too, but hopefully this first place is going off. So we're gonna get in there, look around, see if we can find some fish. And this is gonna be a fun one. This is like total exploration. We're doing like a pretty solid hike. It's probably gonna be at least a mile. Luckily, some of it's on a trail. We're gonna be bushwhacking a bit, I think. So I didn't tell Griff that part yet. So he's coming back right now. <laughs> I mean, there is a abs. Oh my God, Waldo! There's so many big ones, so many fucking big ones. Like I, this is ridiculous. Look at this school pass. Oh, big one came up and ate it. That's a big one. Another 13. Get them back down. Beautiful fish. Cold out. We don't want their fins freezing at all. But it is going down right now. It is going down right now. And the boys aren't here. They're out on an exploratory mission. We called them, but 
They're gonna keep trying, I think. So we just made our hike back. We're actually right on the edge of the lake now. There's a bunch of this that looks very sketchy and doesn't have much ice, but if you check this out, like the reason we try to be careful back in here, this is like some old ice, looks like only about an inch thick. So you can see how much the water level actually was elevated and it dropped like probably not that long ago. So there was an inch of ice before it dropped. So we're gonna make sure we're real careful and we're just gonna check our way out. Luckily it's not real deep, but we don't wanna do something stupid. So you can like see where this ice sheet starts though. It's, it's like very distinct line. So we're just gonna inch our way out there, make sure it's safe ice and then get after it. But if it's not, sometimes you just gotta check it and if it sucks, you gotta bail. So that's kind of where we're at right now, but we're excited to at least check. <laughs> Don't come here. Come here. We, this looks like mags. We just found a stump that had fish on it. Right uh, here. There's some fish suspended. They kind of are swimming off and around this thing. But that school over there, we're gonna have to confirm species, but these look right. Potentially something else, but man, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Please be crappy. Please. That was my own jig. Yes. <laughs> got one! Alright, we got one. Bite. Yeah, solid fish. First one. Drop kick and wacky macky. He wacky did. Measure it. Come on, dipper. So she don't freeze. Not even 12. Look at It's like a. I know. We get a four. Look, we get one. Look at the tail on that thing. Yep. All right, let's get her back. Beautiful fish, though. 11 and 3 quarters. They're crappies. Did you see that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> God, those are pretty good. Okay, we're getting there. Under 13. Yeah, nice fish. Getting bigger. So we got an 11 and 3 quarter, now right at 13. Let's get her back here. Oh, we're figuring it out. We're going bigger. Let's just keep going bigger. We see some like giant, giant ones swimming around. So if we can get one of them to come in, eat like they're, like those ones. I mean, they just come right up to it and eat it. They don't even hesitate. They actually kind of want you to like get right in their grill. Right. Yeah, because if I took it away from them, they wouldn't really come after it. So I just like dropped it right at their face and just started jigging hard. And they were just like, Tonk. like, okay, they might not be able to see it with this scummy water. You really got to give it to Fairly them, you know? Dirty, yeah. 
Well, let's try to get those other two that yeah, we with them. Yeah, let's, I mean, they're crappies. Yeah. So we're on. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is good. We got to make this happen. There's some big ones here. Really. I'll text Bart. We got our first 13. Sad face. <laughs> when you get on top of them, it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, it's almost hard to tell the difference between marks because they're like so tightly grouped, you know? Are you still marking? Oh, oh boy. Drop kick. I think we might have another situation on our hands. Oh, get out of this. Good grace of God, Waldo. There's another one. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like be like flickery marks on bottom. He's coming in. Got him, Fink. Oh my goodness. Wow, he slacklined me big time. That's a nice fish. It's probably still another. They look so much bigger than they probably really are. Heck yeah. Nice tall. The build in here is ridiculous. River, river fish are just so sick. Really, really pale fish too. This real dirty in here. See this. What do you think? I bet he's like 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Yeah. 13. 13 incher. Back to back 13s. Back to back 13s. We got things happening here. Let's get her going, dude. Right on. That was sick. We sniped that one. Hell yeah. Yes. All right. Let's get this thing back in there. Beauty going back. All right, we're starting to catch those other boys. Just caught, I think, another big one. They just texted us, so we're gonna probably grind this out, see if maybe we can find a couple of like bigger ones, like big, big, and then uh, maybe for the afternoon go meet up with them. They're a ways away, so it's not like we can just cruise over there quick, but warm up my hands, see if we can find another one and go get them. This is sick. See that mark? Yeah, they're aggressive, dude. Like, if you get one on your screen, it's done. There's a big one. There's a yeah, that's a tank, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo, they're getting bigger, boys. I think we just found the mother load. Um, we kind of dialed them into being on this one side of the 13 and a quarter. Look at how that thing is built. My God. <laughs> It's going to be like when we catch a big one, dude. Get this girl back. Bye, sweetheart. Yes! This is awesome, man. And they are so aggressive. So aggressive. They see your bait and it's just... But they are. They're super high up. Here we go. That's cool. Oh, God, it looked a lot bigger. <laughs> There's that much... They're that, that high. <laughs> I didn't even reel one time. 12 and a half incher, easily. God, they're just built to them. I just want to see a giant. It's going to be heavy, dude. Heavy. Nice fish. Just healthy, healthy, but we want big, big. So, see ya. Of course. Here we go. Oh, they just swam right under my jig. Coming back. <laughs> oh, that was sick <laughs> oh this is fun but we gotta find mags come on 
these are built though i'm just like gets me excited to see like a 15 16 incher or an 18 you know whatever yep 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 oh lost him felt pretty solid not gonna oh god came right back this one's bigger whatever this is just vapor trailed off the bottom i have no idea what it is look very white eh That was sick. God, it looks so huge. That's a solid one. That's another probably 13, 13 and a half. I don't have the bump we left over there, but that was sick, dude. Vapor trailed off the bottom, only like four feet of water. Mackie, little white Mackie. Sick, yes. Things are happening. We got fish to be caught, dude. That is a beast. All right, man. <laughs> bigger one god that was sick dude i thought that was gonna be a little it was fighting hard sick got him huh? got him okay. yep okay. yep Another one, that same kind of size. God, they're around though. There's freaking big ones here. Gag that thing. I don't know if you can see that Mackie down the hatch, baby. Yeah. Are the rest of them still here, Got him. Yeah. Oh, they're solid. Beautiful fish. Here we go. Oh. My reel's jacked. Just pistol whipping 13s though. Jeez. Another one. Probably 13, 13 and a half incher. Just solid. They're so pale in here though. But they are so built too. Mackie again. Right in the lip. Another one going back. Pretty, pretty fish. They started doing the like shark thing that they do. Yeah. Oh, missed it. Yeah. We're just pounding 13 inches. I mean, it's crazy how many of these we've got. Plus, you know, we can come back here. This place is loaded. <laughs> and they're all like that. Look how thick that thing is. And that's crazy. Thick river. River fishies. Oh, I got him again! <laughs> no, you bit it again! It's literally in his mouth! <laughs> Well, that was a double catch there. Uh, all right. Yep, bye. Oh boy. Boys are riled right now, for sure. So, they got something going over there. This is sick, oh God. This is pretty sick, but we're gonna try to go meet up with them. We'll definitely be back here because this place is loaded. This fish is all over me right now. But they're pretty hyped. We're gonna jet. Oh, got him. Leave these fish for another day. Come back when we can get on them again. 
me. Maybe not a crop dog, or maybe a big crop dog. Ripping drag. Oh, what's happening? It's a crop, you all right? Is it just an angry one? Oh, it's pretty big, dude. That's a big one. Okay, that one's over 14, no doubt in my mind. Jeez, tall, tall. <laughs> Unreal. All right, so, like I said, we're gonna probably get out of here. It's crazy that we're leaving this, but we have another bite going down. Those boys are on them, and uh, we think with another two guys and another live unit, we can maybe even get any more. So, get this one back. Another tank, river fish. Love these fish, but they're getting a pass for the rest of the afternoon. We're gonna go check in with those boys, see if we can get a couple more absolute giants. But we've been waiting for this bite all year, and today it's like going down. We have premium conditions, so we gotta make it count. So it's like over an hour drive to where they are from where we are, plus we gotta hike out of here. But I think it'll be well worth it. We'll get there with maybe an hour or two to fish, and we'll beat them down. Sunset bite, let's do this thing. This scouting mission was success, I'll say. <laughs> we got a spot, so we're gonna get out of here, go warm up, drive there, do it. Yo. Yo, we just, uh, we just hiked out of the river bottom. We just hit the truck right now, so. So the good news is I'm currently uh, holding another one. Thank you.